up my youtube family i am back again with another video i know i've been away for a while but i'm going to be consistent this time around but if you've been following me for a while you already know what's going on but before we get into this filling in video i do want to like direct you all to my product site which is shopluxnails.co not com but co co not com and i'm just going to get into some of the things that i have available for you all which is like glitter acrylics i have long nail car tags for all my long nail wearers i have nail starter kits for people who want to start their nail business i have drill bits i have e-files e -files. i have regular files i have cuticle pushers nippers clippers whatever you need training fingers training hands buffers whatever you need there and these are also some of the videos of me using some of the products most of the products i use myself on an everyday nail basis full set wise or whatever but we are going to start getting into this video. Okay guys, so we are going to take this five week old nail set. Yes, I said it's five weeks old. If you know less than none of that. We're going to take this five week old nail set and turn it into this really classy, stylish red nail set. But to start off, we are going to take the cuticle nippers, which are also from Shop Lux Nails and remove any crystals, gems, three, whatever from the nail so that we can start um, removing the gel top coat from the nail so that we can go ahead and fill them in. Okay, so now that we are done with removing all the gems, I am now just gonna take my acrylic smoothing bit you can also find this on Shop Lux Nails. Everything I'm using, you can find there. But I am going to use this. Also, I'm using my e-file that's also on my website. Um, a 35 RPM for most of you all who will ask. But I'm just going to take this um, e-file bit and I'm just going to start removing all the gel top coat from it. Debulking. Not really debulking because I'm not trying to like change any of the acrylic because she won't just simple red. I'm just going to just remove the gel top coat from the top and then I'm just going to fill them in with new all around. If you are going to order this um, acrylic smoothing bit, please be careful when using it because it's not supposed to touch the skin nor is it supposed to touch the natural nail.
am now coming in with my cuticle pushers, also from Shop Lux Nails. Matter of fact, while we're at it, make sure you go follow Shop Lux Nails Co. on Instagram. But anyway, using this, I'm just going to push back the cuticles. It's a fresh new one, so you can kind of see all of the dead skin from the nails, like, you know, being removed or whatever. But I am removing this so that I can go ahead and etch the new growth of the nail. And etching a new growth of the nail is basically just removing the shine so that you will have a better quality of nail or longevity of your nails lasting. Now that we have pushed back the cuticles and made sure that the nails are ready for etching, this is what I use to etch and I also have this on Shop Lux Nails as my cuticle prep bit. And I say cuticle prep because it's mainly what I use for my critical cuticles, sorry, cuticles, but I also use it to etch the whole nail and you will see it when I um, etch her index finger. I just feel like it just cuts down a lot of time and from using sanding bits or using one type of bit then going in and using another bit. So you can see here that this is actual real timing that I'm actually doing on this finger to actually edit. And no, my eval isn't up too high. I think it's on like a level five, maybe maybe six, but that's all you need. You don't need to use it any higher. If you do, it will damage the nail, but I just feel like it's quicker to etch and it also makes my nail tip stick better or faster. Cause some people have hard times like um, getting their nail tips to stick. But when I use that, I don't have issues. Now that I have etched everything, I am going back in again with cuticle nippers, same nippers, but different pair, because I use them for different things. Um, I'm just gonna clip up the lift stitch that was there. So now that I can go back again and etch the, what you wanna call it, the raw nail. I'm just going to um, replace the two nails that are missing and these are nail tips that I'm using from a vendor that I'm trying so I don't know what nail tips they are before I get a thousand comments about them because I always do and I always say the same thing but I do um, like custom them to people fingers because everybody is different and the nail tips most of them like the number nines are nines but like the number seven and eight seems like nines to me too so it's like i have to kind of alter them to use them but for the overall like shape and length i like them
Philly video, not that I recall, I'm going to actually like kind of talk you through these steps. So I do prime twice, but in the video, I only prime once because I prime right ag again, right before I acrylic that hand. So I'm just basically just taking small balls because I just hate when you take big balls during the filling and you don't need all of it. So I just use smaller beads until I fill up the whole new growth of the nail. But since these nails are going to be red, I'm not doing too much. Now, if she wanted them like the same or if she wanted something different, I would have debuffed it all and I would have be changing the colors. And I would care about how big the balls are. But in this case, you don't. I just want to fill them in just so we can have the fill in effect, of course. And so that we can have smooth polish all the way down.
I am going in with my 80-80 grit nail file and I am just shaping up the acrylic, just shaping them up, foul all of them. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you are shaping it the best that you can. Even though this is not the only time I shape it, I eat foul, then I shape it again afterwards. But I just like to work smarter and not harder, so I try to eliminate as most steps as possible. So the better you shape it now, the less you will have to shape after you foul again, if that makes sense.